welcome to Bristol Rovers. Um, can you tell us a little bit firstly about how the move came about? Uh, Daryl basically gave me a call while I was in Euro Disney and, and said that he was interested and would I be interested in coming to meet him. Um, you know, and at the time uh, I was talking with uh, a couple of other clubs and to myself, why not come up and come up and meet him? Obviously, the stature of the club is is huge and something which appealed to me. Um, so, come and met him. Uh, the the meeting went really well. I think we got on we got on really well, and uh, as I've ended up signing. So you started your career at Luton. Can you tell us a little bit about where your football's taken you so far? Well, it's taken me everywhere. <laughs> um, yeah, I was I was at Luton for five years um, as an apprentice. Moved then on to uh, Oxford. Suffered uh, relegation there. Went to Torquay. Suffered relegation again. Um, managed to get out of the uh, the conference. You know, I think that was a, a fantastic feat that we achieved in, in under two years. Um, and then, you know, we, we we've done well in the league, and obviously disappointing to end in relegation with them. And now I find myself here. So you touched on sort of your previous relegations there. How do you bounce back from something like that? It's very difficult. If I'm honest with you, it, it hurts. You know, it, it's still. Even though I'm not a, a talky player now, it, it, it still smarts with me. Um, it's never nice. Just to just let you know, I've had three promotions as well, so I'm not just a relegation master. But um, yeah, it, it's it's very hard to to build yourself back up. Um, for me, as a footballer, it's that was a, the part of the new challenge here was to come and you know be away from something where I'd known for eight years and you know something I'd grown to be part of, uh, and to to come into something new and. It, and to be excited about things as well was something much I was really looking forward to doing. So this will be sort of a new experience for Rovers being in the conference. Can you tell us a little bit about what we can expect from conference football? It's going to be very tough. Um, obviously, the, the, the previous years I've had in there, um, as a as a club, we can't go into to games thinking you know we don't deserve to be in this league. We're in this league for a reason because uh, obviously they were relegated last year. Um, we're going to go to to places where our fans are going to outnumber theirs, and it's going to be it's going to be dog eat dog war, and that, that's what you need. You need strong characters in the changing rooms, you need strong characters on the pitch. Um, you can't expect to to roll up to places and expect to turn them over. It's not going to happen like that. You have to be mentally strong and physically strong, and hopefully, if our quality can shine through, we can get promoted.